uh, for most of the hour, we're joined by um, Charlotte Iserby, the best-selling author. And it's been out of print, but she's come out with a smaller edition now. The Deliberate Dumbing Down of America. It's still very thick with all these graphics and documents. We sell it at InfoWarsStore.com. And the book, uh, if you want to understand why they're dumbing everybody down, is close to 500 pages long. She was the head of policy, number two position, at the Department of Education in the Ronald Reagan administration. And uh, she was a leading educator and also her, what was it, dad and grandfather had been in Skull and Bones. So she was also a kind of an insider. She's also the lady that leaked all the stuff to Anthony Sutton that exposed uh, Skull and Bones. And, and, and you know, also her dad and you know, grandfather were good guys and everybody there was, was bad. In fact, her, her dad told her about that. So the whole point is, is that there's not all bad people in the system. And there's always time to expose what's going on. But she's a whistleblower, whistleblower, whistleblower. And I wanted to get her on. She also has a new DVD set out that we don't sell yet, but, but is available on her site. We'll tell you how to get that. Exposing the Global Road to Ruin Through Education. Uh, and this is shot in 2012, 2013 at two conferences. All educators need to see this to um, understanding what they've done. And then she has another booklet out for educators, Back to Basics Reform, or OBE Skinnered International Curriculum. Now, we've gotten her on about the master plan and what's behind it and where it's going. But in her book, she shows the government documents where they said, by the time they're done with it, your child won't be able to talk. And they admit they call it brainwashing in Department of Education uh, graphics, cartoons they did, just like the NSA documents came out this week where they were calling uh, iPhone users dumb zombies and laughing at how they turned America into 1984. So it shows them slowly federalizing the schools and then making the kids mean and dumb down and turning it into Big Brother National Information Distribution Center, Imperial International Propaganda System, that's the youth brigades, Our Lady of Benevolent Dictatorship, One World Global Training Corps, and then Interplanetary Carbon Unit Reprogramming Pod. This is from the 80s. Literal biological android. But look, he's happy now and he's plugged into a computer so, and again, we're going to Isbury in a moment. Her Skype just dropped. Uh, but but that's the point of what's going on uh, with the, this book and this material. So, without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a total takeover. Two plus two equals five. Teach five-year-olds how to be transgender. If they can get away with that, they can do anything. That's what this is. The school says your child can be vaccinated against your will or have an abortion against your will. This is the state taking over. As MSNBC has said, Ohio with bills to basically outlaw homeschooling since CPS after everybody. They're coming. They're coming. But we can push back if we recognize they're not misguided liberals. And they've got the Republican leadership with them and Bill Gates. These are scientific takeover experts. Okay, joining us is Charlotte Iserby. Charlotte, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, break down the basics and then get into Common Core for people so they understand it. Well, Alex, uh, I'm very pleased that everybody's focusing on, well, I'm not pleased that much. I think it's normal that parents would be focusing on Common Core. And there's a lot of money out there uh, supporting uh, their focus uh, from the neoconservative Trotskyites. It's a big bandwagon across the country uh, to keep parents and teachers focused on Common Core. We've had Common Core ever since certainly the 1970s. It came out of the original goals, which are standards, right? Came out of the Northwest Regional Lab. And that's in my little book, Back to Basics Reform, actually, the information there, which was, uh, let's just point out that everything I've ever written, the reason that nobody knows what happened, is that everything I ever wrote was boycotted. Not by normally, you know, the, the left would, but by the neoconservative Trotskyites. Every single organization in this country boycotted my Back to Basics reform, which I wrote after I got myself fired from the Department of Ed, full of documentation, warning Americans of exactly what's happening now. That little book, only $10. And uh, then um, I wrote Deliberate Dumbing Down of America because that little book was boycotted. People said they didn't understand it, huh? Um, so then I wrote the biggie, 700 pages. That was boycotted, but is a free download 
at DeliberateDumbingDown.com. So there's no excuse for any American or foreigner for that matter, because the foreigners know that that book is correct too. I had, a, I had an interesting email yesterday from a teacher in Bosnia who asked how we could possibly get it into more languages, the Deliberate Dumbing Down of America. But anyway, they boycotted, boycotted, then they boycotted the US Soviet Education Agreement information I got out. They boycotted the latest abridged version, which you're selling, right? Uh, the deliberate dumbing down of America because they don't want anybody to know that uh, it's not common core, it's unelected boards brought about by school choice funded with your tax money. They don't want anybody to know that. That's the issue. That is the issue, believe it or not, even I can't believe it, that is going to bring our country down. When private education Religious education and homeschool education accepts a tax month, one penny of tax money uh, to uh, run their schools. They will be completely controlled. Even if they kill Common Core, they will have to put it in anyway because they won't have any elected boards. Well, Charlotte, let me quantify what you just said so eloquently because as a parent, I've experienced it. They wreck public education, federalize it, globalize it. That's the common core. But they've already gotten all the private schools and, and most of the homeschoolers to adopt common core. I can't find a homeschool academy or a Christian school that doesn't literally have the handouts from Michelle Obama on what my kids should eat. They've taken just like with the churches and the new freedom initiatives with the pharmaceuticals and the faith-based initiative, they've already taken it almost all over. And now they're saying they're gonna hunt down the true homeschoolers. Go ahead. Oh, absolutely. And the home, I want people, they've really got to go and get this eight disc set. There are seven discs or videos, uh, presentations, about 18 hours of videotaping of the leading, we call them, and most respected education researchers in the country over the past 50 years, we had one marvelous researcher come in from California to Maine last year who fought the planning, programming, budgeting management system, which is really total quality management, which took over all the schools of America and turned them into brainwashing factories. Her marvelous gal, she's still fighting and she does a beautiful presentation. Mary Thompson is her name. We have Samuel Blumenfeld dealing with the fact that all the Rockefeller brothers can't read uh, because because they went through, uh, they went to the Lincoln School in New York, which uh, didn't have them starting to read until they were probably in, in uh, second or third grade and taught them the wrong way because it was all John Dewey. Uh, marvelous uh, what Blumenfeld has there. Yeah, my son could read when he was three, so could my dad. Please don't tell me because I've got problems in my own family where uh, reading is not being taught uh, at an early age, and it should be. Uh, we've got Rosa Corey came in because she's, of course, Agenda 21. We met Rosa for the first time last year, and she did a wonderful, we've got a wonderful presentation by Rosa. Uh, we've got Kelly Nelson. She absolutely blows the whistle uh, for a good hour on the Trotskyite neoconservatives who have been behind this agenda. Let's they explain it. They wreck. They federalize and wreck public schools, which is the fire. Then they throw us into neocon corporate schools that are hell itself, exactly. all by design. They've wrecked the public schools. Now they're gonna move on to everything else while saying we're running from Common Core. The answer is Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Symbols are powerful and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. 
Charlotte Isherman. He is our guest at about 50 after. Then I'll take your phone calls that are holding. We have another guest coming up to look at the black genocide program taking place here in the U.S. by the left, particularly. Quebec study concealed carry results in fewer murders. These results suggest that restrictive concealed weapons laws may cause an increase in gun-related murders at that level. And that is the government of Quebec. Uh, meanwhile, you have the head of Interpol coming out a few months ago and saying the answer is arming the general public. Two plus two equals four in the real world. But in Common Core land, Affordable Care Act triples your health care and lowers your quality and lets the government share your data. Or Chicago takes all the guns, crime rate goes up. This is why they have to dumb you down so that common sense can be basically abolished. That's what they talk about in 1984 under Ingsoc or English Socialism was the plan, which was a real plan, by the way. He's part of the Fabian Socialist, Eric Blair, a.k.a. Of course, George Arwell was to restrict the language down to nothing, to basically grunts or plus or minus or double plus or triple plus or triple minus, just chirping like a parrot. This is the Skinnerian brainwashing that Charlotte Isserby is a pioneer along with John Taylor Gatto and others exposing it. And if you realize they've wrecked public education, they're bringing in total increased brainwashing. It's just it's gotten so crazy now. Here's how to dress. Here's how to have anal sex. Here's two plus two equals uh, equals five. That that's why people are freaking out over Common Core. But then the answer they say is 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 are these Bill and Melinda Gates takeovers? So Charlotte, uh, continue breaking down what's really happening. Well, I'd like to point out for the people researching Common Core that in the mid 70s, you know, they think that what they've got is bad. In the mid 70s, we had health education here in Maine and it required the students to know the three types of sexual intercourse, including with animals. OK, now let's go. Let's go past that. Folks, look. What you have now, it's Marxist curriculum. It's no different from what was planned in 1934 by the Carnegie Corporation, and it's at americandeception.com. The book is called Conclusions and Recommendations for the Social Studies. Just type the word conclusions in there and read that book where they say right there that the Carnegie Corporation and other tax exempt foundations would use the schools to change America to a planned economy, and it even talks about taking our land. So wait now, let's not get down, you know, just focusing all our attention on Common Core. We can't do that. We've got to get into the real research. And that is what the eight disc project is all about. You have not only the videotape presentations of all these great people, but you have written submissions from people like uh, Ed Griffin, who, who interviewed Norman Dodd, who was told in that interview, Norman Dodd was told by the Ford Foundation had Gaither that they were meant to use their money, the tax exempt foundations to use their money to merge the United States with the Soviet Union, which is exactly what is happening now, because the curriculum that is going in, nobody can challenge me on this, is all Soviet polytech workforce training for a global economy to spin off profits for the global elite to use your children. And that is exactly what's been going on ever since the beginning of the last century. Tragedy and hope, Quigley pointed it out in Tragedy and Hope. Most important thing to remember of all, once you get that in your head, you got it. Both parties are the same at the top. They have the identical agenda. Look, when you have Luke Arsner, former IBM, uh, Arne Duncan, leftist, huh, head of Department of Ed, Obama, and the, the tax exempt Heritage Foundation, conservative, huh, that drafted the North American Free Trade Agreement, when you have all of them on board on Common Core, they say they're opposed to it, but they're not because they need it for school choice. You need school choice because those are little charter schools that are international, by the way. They're not new. They're in Russia. They're called contract schools. They're in bed with the corporations. The whole thing is a public-private merger. You can call it whatever you want. Communism, socialism, fascism, communitarianism. That's what it is. And it came out of the White House. I'm sorry to tell you, Ronald Reagan. I was the liaison with the White House for public-private partnerships. That was the one agreement 
uh, one project that allowed the school to work agenda to move forward, bringing the corporations into our schools uh, to decide who's going to do this, who's going to do that, et cetera. It ha we haven't gotten into the actual workforce training yet. We're into the brainwashing now. That's Common Core, out of UNESCO, by the way, Common Core. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's where we're at. All right, we're going to come back and talk more about that, ladies and gentlemen, but it's so essential people understand we're not even endorsing the public schools. When they were local, that was a different thing. They've taken them, federalized them. Now they're wrecking it and giving the alternative their tyranny. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. Infoworth.com. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. <yeah. laughs> We're going back to Charlotte Iserby, the greatest education whistleblower ever. And there she was, the head of policy of the Department of Education. Of course, Ronald Reagan was just a figurehead, but the system was there using that agenda. That's why they get more done when Republicans are in power for socialism and gun control, then they even get what Democrats are in, except now with Obama. I mean, I hate to think what the next one's gonna be like as they've turned the office into a dictatorship. And I wanna ask Charlotte where we're going if we don't turn this around here in a moment. What's frustrating is when you've read the Carnegie Endowment documents, when you've read the committee hearings from Congress, you can go to her websites. They have the books for free, including books written by globalists. In one case, she was offered basically unlimited millions of dollars to get to turn over a book that they were able to secure through their inside connections. Because the globalists write these books that are only for te top technicians, like Tragedy and Hope. And, and we're going to talk about that in a minute when we go back to her. Uh, but, but it's all up on the sites where they lay it all out. It's not like I know what's coming because I just had a vision at 2 a.m. That's what's frustrating. They literally in the 80s were saying humans will be known as carbon units and won't be able to talk if we let you live. I mean, these people, it is so mega evil that, that it's hard to believe, but it's all happening. And by the way, we sell the book Behind the Green Mask that she was mentioning is interviewed in her film in, in her eight disc set with Rosa Corey. And it's the best little primer breaking it down, but it's total enslavement through the economy where the globalists are above the law and exempt from all their laws. It is absolute discrimination of the greatest magnitude. Now, briefly, ladies and gentlemen, we are running out of the proprietary, pure, nascent iodine that has just done wonders for myself and my family and the thyroid that protects you from a lot of these isotopes. We haven't sold out of it in a month. We are basically going to be sold out if it keeps selling like it is by Monday. So if you want Survival Shield, InfoWars Life, Nation Iodine, you've heard the rave reviews from listeners. And all the things it does, just go watch the video, read the medical uh, you know, uh, links that are out there, the information, uh, the research, uh, consult your physician, and then check it out. Survival Shield, InfoWars Life, Nation Iodine. Now, even if that sells out, the good news is we have the fluoride shield in a double the size bottle that also has nascent iodine in it with five other key compounds known to get fluoride out, heavy metals, you name it, other members of the borine family so or the halogen family. So it's all there. See the information. See the interviews with the doctors and scientists and nutritionists at InfoWarsLife.com. And thank you for your support also, but uh, we have committed to you to bring you the highest quality products to InfoWarsLife.com to be truly independent and fund our own operation. Most revolutionaries rob banks to fund their operations. That's what the communists do. We're free market, and the mainstream media criticizes us for being free and independent, selling high quality products. Like the Chiapas High Mountain, a shade grown in organic volcanic soil coffee that was my favorite coffee. I finally, after years, found a source to the farmers. We have it, and people have tried it. They're blown away. Wake Up America Coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. Two different blends. Uh, medium roast, my favorite. It, people agree it's their favorite, or they say it's excellent. I mean, it's all up to taste, but InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The federal government just ordered just ordered 14 million doses, 14 million doses 
uh, of iodine because of what's happening at Fukushima and all the reports of that and the radiation wave coming our way and all of this. That's how I, five, six months ago, discovered true nation iodine of this proprietary type, did such wonders for me. I said, I want to basically you know, buy you to where I can put this out. That's what I want to bring my people. I want to make sure you've got enough of it and you can supply it. And that's what we've done. So InfoWarsLife.com. All right, enough from me. Going back to uh, Charlotte uh, Iserby, who was the head of policy, Department of Education in the 1980s, and was able to get this information in her book, The Deliberate Dumbing Down of America, that breaks down what's happening. But again, the globalists will use their own created crisis to bring in the solution. It's not that the government-run education is good. It's that their solution is Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Carnegie Endowment, Ford Foundation to come in and it's the same stuff that's being taught in the public schools. They just take the best students and say, aren't you lucky? And then you pay to put your kids in a brainwashing camp. Uh, so uh, again, they wreck the schools. They know you're going to run. They've got the next scam. Uh, Charlotte, keep breaking it down. Well, I'd like to point out that there's going to be absolutely no, there's there's no difference between what they want to put in under the charter schools, the tax-supported uh, private education, the complete takeover of private education and destruction of the public school system because the charter schools are pulling the students out of the public school system. Now, I, I've never been one to defend public education. I do defend it on the teachers because I know what they've what they've had to be what they've had to go through through the years and so much of exposing the global road to ruin through education we have interviews with public school teachers that's why it makes it so special the people involved in this product of ours are not affiliated with any political group in this country we are all independent we've been working with public school teachers we have an administrator right from Austin Texas you know who gives out the information on what they're doing in in Austin with the charter schools. But what I want to point out here is that our disk set has a recommendation in it, exposing the global road to ruin through education, which you can get at Amazon or at my website, click on Amazon link there, has the the uh, one of the last disk, I believe, has a is the toolkit, a to-do list, what we can do to take back America. Now, I don't know of any other product out there that really has a list with 24 or 25 items on it. It can be done, but you're going to have to understand that we're between a rock and a hard place. The rock is really lethal. That is the corporate side with the governors, with the president, with the Heritage Foundation, with all of the, the phony Trotskyites. And by the way, Alex, I don't believe Reagan was a figurehead. He was very deeply involved in signing the agreements with the Soviet Union. He was in Moscow. He did it. Ed Curran, the greatest educator, I want to get rid of his own office in the department. The NIE was fired by Reagan. Hmm? I can't defend Reagan on this, but I don't defend one single president since Coolidge. Every no, no, I'm not saying, I mean, he was known as Red Ronnie when he was a communist before he became a supposed conservative. You might, Charlotte, mention to people who the Trotskyites are. For those that don't know, Trotsky was run out by Stalin. They came to Mexico and created the neoconservative movement and took over. And he, he was responsible for killing four million Russians, too, if people would like to know that. Now, in the disc set, there's one full hour, Kelly Nelson from Tennessee, who's been researching the phony right the neocon Trotskyites, for 40 years. She lists, she gets up there and she lists every single group in this country and every single individual who have been involved pretending they love America and the Constitution, working with the Council on Foreign Relations, which, you know, the CFR, as I said before, CFR, Heritage, Obama, uh, and Gerstner, all in bed with the same agenda to, to destroy our academic system, tear it down and put in the Soviet system, which is what Reagan was involved in doing. I have all the documents, okay? Now the school system going in, folks, we have it, we had a pilot in my little town here in Dresden, Maine. It's all over the country now, it's international, it's called Reinventing School Coalition. It takes away all grades, A, B, C, D, 
It takes away K through 12. It takes away the units for math, for law, et cetera. It uses the Malcolm Baldrige Award, total quality management. That is the system going in across the country. It was first experimented on, and I was noticing after, after I speak, you've got something to do with the minorities, how they've been experimented on. On my website, I have a paper called Experimentation on Minorities. They use the minorities from 1965 on with the Skinner method, OBE. They didn't care whether they failed and went down the tubes. Once they got the method and the restructuring of American education, no grades, all this I've been talking about, perfected, they're giving it to all of us now. And it comes No, 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 that's on record. The wrecking the family, the turning people into all this horrible stuff, that was done to the minorities, and now yes. they're going to move it into everything and have whether you're black, white, Hispanic, middle class and have money, you're going to beg to put your kid into the fancy brainwashing that was already been used to wreck the inner city. You have a very, that's very good. I mean, that was the Chicago Mastery Learning Plan. And the fellow... The Which Obama helped push. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know, but it was way back 1960. No, but I'm saying Obama took those later programs and well, helped yeah. destroy the private schools in Chicago. Well, yeah, that, that's true. But what Public I schools. Yeah. This Lee Shulman, the professor involved in the Chicago Mastery Learning disaster, which was referred to by Education Week as, as a human uh, disaster of enormous proportions, that man is working with a Catholic Education Association to put Common Core into the Catholic schools with his spin. This is the man responsible for the destruction of the, the uh, inner city schools between 1970 and 1980. But Charlotte, let's be clear. It's not a disaster, as you know, in the documents. It is planned. Absolutely. Every single thing is planned. And I hope that inner city minority people are listening to this today because they were used. Again, they're always used. The whole integration thing managed to use them. And I might point out, Alex, talking about the order at Yale, huh? Uh, thank you. I managed for the first time to see that great interview that, that the guys came up here to do. I saw it last week, and the one with Sutton and me and all that, and, yes. uh, and got almost half a million hits. I was amazed. But I found, uh, I found another smoking gun there, and he was very responsible for the black experimentation on the blacks, so-called integration and all, and uh, it, it's uh, absolutely amazing that that I had I had not found this before, and I'm so excited about it. I can't even remember his name right now, uh, but it is in the book. It's in the uh, it's in one one of the little little black books. And he came after Francis Keppel, and he was a commissioner. And I'm I'm looking right now for the papers on him, and I can't find. But it. what's important is on your websites, give those out. You have a lot of the books and stuff totally free, including their books that they fought to not have you publish. Uh, online. Tell folks about some of those books. Well, yes. Uh, the, the, well, it, actually, it was the Reese Committee hearings, 3,000 pages. As a book, uh, yeah. Reese Committee hearings that I, I bought from uh, someone who worked for the uh, Intelligence Committee, for that committee that uh, did the investigation of the tax exempt foundations. And I finally bought it. But he's the one that was offered any amount of money by the minions of the foundations uh, for that one copy. Because they didn't want the American people to know what had gone on during those hearings. And I, I mentioned earlier, you know, that uh, the, uh, the, the importance. Well, give the website out because we're going to go to the site and show people on TV right now, not just radio. We're going to show them that document so they can go and get it because it shouldn't just sit there. It's so important. People, especially academics and educators and policy wonks, should really go read their own blueprint and understand they're part of the systematic destruction of the mind. Well, it's at americandeception.com, and it's you can type in Dodd, Norman Dodd, or uh, investigation. Uh, the other, the other important document that isn't as long is the one that the conclusions and recommendations for the social studies, 1934. I call that the smoking gun. That is, I talked about it earlier. I get people get bored with me. That's Carnegie's plan to use the schools to change America's capitalist economic system, and they even talk about taking our land. And Carnegie, from that time on, 1934, every five years gave money to Education Commission of the States, the National Assessment. Okay, Common Core people, National Assessment, that's it, that's what you're dealing with. Now, the Education Commission of the States, 
the agreements with the Soviet Union, <coughs> with the Carnegie's agreement with the Soviet Academy of Science to develop computer courseware in critical thinking, which is Marxist thinking. By the way, I've seen the Calhoun Reader uh, put out, it was about a decade ago, the University of Texas was using for social workers. We showed it on air. And it was Bob Dacey actually uh, 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 brought it to me because I'm going from memory. One of his sons uh, was going to school to be a police officer, which he is now a state police. And uh, he, so he had to read this. And it said, we're going to get rid of the family. It belongs to an arcane age. I'm quoting that. I mean, this is the type of crazy stuff. They openly say we're getting rid of the family. It's bad. Well, nobody and nobody believes it. And I, I have to point out there is no way for the American people to turn this thing around unless they have the history. <laughs> now, I did the history for them in the deliberate dumbing down. And it's there. It's free as a download. That's good. They can get the hard copy at, at your site and at Amazon. But the most important one we've done, why would I go to the trouble of the last two years putting this together is exposing the global road to ruin through education. It is definitely because it gives gives Americans a toolkit to go out, show these tapes to your neighbors, to ministers, to businessmen, especially who have no idea they're going to be going out of business if they don't take money from the government, right? To educate school teachers, school public school teachers, forget it. Oh, God, everybody sort of knows that we're going to have Teach for America, these brainwashed college kids coming in to monitor on the computer okay no but go please i plead with you this is the last product that you'll get out of me i tried so hard with how many different publications and everything to get this word out the american you know it's good that uh deliberate dumbing down is a free download that's great you could go there cut paste sense now but out. charlotte you have fought so hard you don't need to do this for the money you know your successful business in your life and your uh, and your late husband everything you've done you fought for it's got to be 50 years for education and you've done so much and if it wasn't for people like you they would have already won and exactly we're not saying public education and common core are good they've already wrecked that now they're taking over all the other we need true local schools True local private, true local public. We need true local homeschooling. And I've seen it. You cannot find homeschooling groups. You cannot find homeschooling academies. You cannot find any private schools or churches. We go to mega churches. We go to small churches. They're all preaching government doctrine. I talk to the preachers. They admit they're basically government stooges. I mean, this is so deep. It's so bad. Alex, look, let me point out. Our recommendation is to restructure, rebuild the public school system because it is less lethal than what we're looking at on the other side. The other side is the end of freedom for America. All right. Well, we're going to have to have you back on to research this more. Thank you so much. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.